What's going on you 50 something awesome amazing truckers? Today, we're going to Walt Disney World. The most magical place on earth. <laughs> it is no telling where trucking will take you from time to time. And well, this little guy here takes us to the uh, Dolphin Resort down here in Disney World. And uh, I've been to Disney World once. It's back I think in 2000. Maybe, maybe 11. Um, it's a long ago. The cash man, he don't remember it. But anyway, uh, this is the second time I've came, and I uh, work trucking brought me here, which is pretty cool. So it's been this, this, been this convention freight man. It's put me in a Mercedes Benz Stadium. It's put me downtown at the convention center in Boston, uh, convention center in Dallas, Fort Worth. Not only the Gaylord, and not the Gaylord, but the uh, Opryland and stuff in Nashville. Uh, downtown Denver hotels, downtown Atlanta and hotels. The coolest one so far was the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But after that, I gotta say, this is probably pretty cool. But, you know, I'm going to the Dolphin Resort. They had some kind of convention down here. And uh, we just went down there for that. These cars, y'all gonna slow down? The one I can't even get over. I see how y'all are. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I figured I'd catch a little vlog day in the life of what I'm doing. Um, I had a dead head back down down to Florida. I hauled butt home, and a lot of people say, "You what? You dead headed home?" You like, yeah, I did. Dead headed 500 miles home. I'm dead headed 500 miles back. But reason being is, um, I got my physical in December and I got it on the fly and I was still busy working and I was out on the road and I was trying to figure out how to upload it online which I finally did I ended up just faxing it to them uh, and that's another video guys I gotta tell you what I've I got my two-year medical card back with blood, good blood pressure and it was all natural it was off blood, blood pressure medicine so yeah I got a, I got a story to tell on that but anyway I was out on the road trucking and I got a letter that says if I didn't have it uploaded to the D, the DMV or the DDS by I think it's the 4th of February that my license were going to expire so I had to do that and I know I, I faxed it in but I couldn't get no clarification I couldn't get nobody on the phone to tell me if I faxed it in and everything went good so I decided I need to go by the DMV so that was one reason I dead headed home. The other reason was I had to get my IFTA, my IFTA reports and trip reports to my IFTA girl back in Chattanooga. And uh, the third reason is I left on the 2nd of January and I've been gone. Minus one day last week, I stopped in the house for one night. And uh, when I delivered this the other day, I was able to dead head and have two nights at home. So, I won't be back home till February. So my thinking was, I miss my wife, I miss the kids, the dogs, even the cat. So I'm only getting, that's only giving me three days this month of being home. I've been out here just hustling, trying to get this, get the money up to uh, get this truck going. So I needed to work. So Mark OTR Trucker back on my resume, cause we've been, we've been getting it. And we are almost there. We are almost there. I've never, I've never stayed at a resort down here. But I've talked to a couple people. They say, like, "Yeah, I stayed at that resort, man. That's a nice place." Yada yada yay. And I was like, "That's pretty cool." You know, we we was in Cocoa Beach whenever we came to Disney World back in the day. We was in Cocoa Beach, and uh, hey, dummy, I need over. The bleaky blinks mean I need over. So when we was down here, we just uh, we just jumped in the car and came up one morning spent the day up here and then went back but I know quite a, people, a, lot, of, quite a lot of people that like to come down here and stay in the resorts and stuff it's a little bit out of my price range I'm just no poor boy from North Georgia I don't know what that life's like get in gear you sucker now there's the Colorado Springs Resort and Convention Center to my left look at that the place is pretty nice back in position but that's not 
not where we're going. We're going on up around the bend here. I don't know, it's probably about another mile. I'm thinking 1.7 miles is what my GPS on the Google tells me. Ooh, easy tree, easy. Yeah, guys, I just want to come to you, give you a little vlog, give you a little update. A lot of people's curious about, am I, what am I going to do with the, the truck? What am I going to do with Ellie Mae? What am I this? What am I that? Uh, I like to say right now is I've got to get the truck on, up on the road ready to go. And I, now let me tell you, it's expensive to get a truck up and running. <laughs> uh, I, I, I tallied it up from all the expenses from flying out to getting motel rooms to adding insurance on it, down payment, and the odds and ends I'm going to do to it before I get it on the road, some maintenance stuff, um, some things I'm going to tackle ahead of the curve. Uh, I'm going to have roughly $18,000 out of my pocket in to get this truck up and running. So it's sitting at the house. Batteries are deader, deader and all outside. So I gotta get home when I get home in February. Put some batteries in it, some shocks. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and change out the alternator on the tri pack just to get that get that monkey off the back. Uh, just a couple things, a couple things. So right now uh, I'm looking to get that truck up and roll, rolling by March. I just wanted to buy it for at the end of 23. So I bought it in 23 for tax purposes. But she'll be up and ready to roll come March. And uh, that's all I know right now. So yeah, I'm still I'm still trucking around in old Ellie May, hood trucking life. For the time being. We don't know. We don't know. I mean I know, but you don't know. And I ain't telling you to if it happens. <laughs> Watch out, family man, I'm coming through. Buena Vista Drive. Now right here, straight ahead of us is the Walt Disney World Swan. You got the swan and you got the dolphin. They're right, I guess, in front of each other, beside each other. But we're not going to the swan, we're going on past here, we're gonna go over to the dolphin. On around the corner. But yeah, guys, this new truck, man, I'll tell you what, it's got my nerves tore up. I'm nervous. At the same time, I'm excited. And I've said that for years. If something, if something excites you and scares the death out of you at the same time, more than likely you should do it. Because it's out of your comfort zone. It's, it's you know, you're you're moving on up. You're doing something different, getting out of the, the comfort zone. And that's, that's what life's all about. It's about elevating to the next level. And, uh... Worst case scenario, if you try to elevate to the next level, is uh, you get back not you get knocked back down on your level. So you always got to strive to to better yourself and do more and uh, keep yourself busy. Um, why people shouldn't retire, even if you retire, retire, always have something to keep you busy. Whether I mean, like my father-in-law, for example, well, you got a herd of cattle right now, herd of cattle, and they're all top stock from the Red Angus Association. You can Google every one of his cows, but one. You can Google their blood, their father or their bloodline, and every one of them is a top tier. Comes from a top tier bull or a top tier heifer or, or cow. No, 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 no. Let's see. Okay, I got going up past it. Here's the dolphin. But yeah, you can Google every one of his cattle. They're all in the. Uh, the top percentages of red angles uh, cattle and where the heck but anyway father-in-law retired a couple years back and uh, he had already started a, a, his herd you know for his hobby before he's retired you know and even a little bit, a bit of money but the way cattle's done in the last couple of years he's done very well and he usually sells his cows for anywhere from two to three thousand dollars and uh it's a good little hobby for him. So even in retirement, he still got a job. But it's a job on his his accord, something he enjoys doing. So yeah, guys, you always gotta keep on elevating, pushing forward to the next chapter. And I think this is my turn. Maybe. Yes sir, yes sir. Now we're coming into the shipping, not shipping, but the receiving, I guess, area. 
for this place. Bossman then called me and said, when you get there, go ahead and bump the dock, put it in there. And uh, where I'm going, you got to blindside it. Ain't too bad though. It's, it's not like a hard blindside. It's not like a 90 degree black blindside. It's more like a 45 blind. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. And but we got a truck up here and I don't know what he's doing, but he needs to get out of my way. Because I've got to get in the dock. there I don't know I just kept going but we got security right here and this is Disney World they're pretty strict so I don't know what this star guy's up here doing but uh all I know is I need the door up here Cabo I'm gonna go talk to somebody I'll see y'all in a little bit Going in the trailer. Oh, living in nice. living in paradise down here. Guys, we right here at the water in uh, sea Epcot World. Sea World. Yeah. You look right there, way over there. You can see the ball or the dome from Epcot. Where's it at? There it is, right there in the center screen. It's nice down here. What what do you say it is? About 50 degrees. Yeah, about 50. It's nice. Eddie, say hey. Say hey to everybody. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Say hey. Hey. Decided come on the other side and see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, man, this is nice. It is the middle of January. It's in the 50s. There's a moon way up there. That's big. Place. Moon, half full. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You got to pay for it. It's 20 bucks. What is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs>